Hello, my name is Nathan Elder, and today I'll be discussing the Apple Eternal Analysis, which is the valuable, rare, admittable, and non-substitutable resources, otherwise known as VRIN. First, I'll be discussing the valuable resources of Apple. The first valuable resource I have listed is that their products have a wide variety of uses, such as you could take a photos, you could browse the web, you could text, you can call, which you could do a lot of things on just one device. And the next thing I have listed for a valuable resource under Apple is that each one of their products, you could basically share data easily between them. For example, you can ha start a project on a MacBook Pro and finish it on an iPad or an iPhone or any other Apple products out there. Next, I'm going to discuss the rare resources of Apple. This rare resource, when I was doing research, was rather interesting because I didn't know that the first iPhone was able to browse the web as a computer did at the time. So thanks to this innovation, Apple was able to get many smartphone cells and be known as the first smartphone to actually have web browsing. Next I'll talk about the inimitable resources, which Apple provides massively amount of privacy compared to all the other phone carriers such as Android which if you look at Android they're owned by Google and Google makes a lot of money off of their ads so basically they collect all this data off of the Android phones so they can match up ads with what their users are looking at and well Apple's the opposite they like to protect the privacy of their customers and so they're never going to sell out their customers because they care about their privacy because privacy is number one for them. Next, I'll talk about the non-substitutable resources. Well, whenever you look at Apple, their products can be easily substituted. However, thanks to their image that they created over the years, their brand cannot be substituted thanks to their privacy, for example, because that's what they're really well known for is their privacy. And Google, for example, they're just gonna, you know, always collect your data, sell it, and everything. So, yeah, Apple's well known for that, and they're a well known family brand thanks to their innovation and their ideas over time. Well, thank you for listening to my presentation.